This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I am Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh. Pizza, 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 Pizzaburg. 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 Yeah, sure. Yeah, Pittsburgh. The Italian pronunciation. It's been a long day, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk for the next three hours. Let's see how this goes. But with me to help with the talking bits, first of all, John Chichilla. How's it going? He's a gadget guru, a big bank international esquire. I think, I think Ron's back tonight just to try to make a run for That's keeping right. up with how many episodes we've yeah, been yeah. on for That's... the year. <laughs> That's right. Ron Krause also with us. He's also a gadget person of another Atlas Victory Enterprises. Yes. <laughs> What you see, what you just said there. Yeah, right there, right there. Words and things. There's a visual. Shout out to our friend List Victory, who uh, is featured the last couple episodes of Fishing Without Bait, and is uh, now in India, by the way. So, so it's a friend of the show on the network. There you go. And our friend of Rivers Edge has a show over there as well. And I'm sure you have not listened to any of that and know exactly what you're getting into by representing List Victory. But shout out to our good friend List Victory. <laughs> oh good to have you guys here hanging out um the dutters dutters des- designated that we have a boys night uh so she i think it's because i what what happened those two hung out all, together all day and decided you know what let th- let them deal with it today so I, I don't know what's been going on there i guess it was a wild day at the library i don't know uh anyways <laughs> so th- dude the, the library the bar down on the south side no 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 not there. that one not that one not that one what is happening here like kraus is like re white balancing in the middle of the show <laughs> so i apologize for that i want to i want to fix that later for another show oh it's, I, her ears must be burning because katie just uh jo- dropped into the uh chat room here but anyways this is the awesome cast episode 433 you can check out everything at awesomecast.com i'm gonna fix the dot net i don't know why that's not connected I, I noticed that a couple weeks ago if you guys still use that uh but anyways uh, go go over there and hit all the links and subscribe for us on all uh, to us on all your iTunes uh, and podcast apps and, and and watch the video versions on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, hit us up at awesomecast.sorgatronmedia dot com where you can hit up uh, producer Missy with uh, any inquiries about advertising and or if you want to join us here in studio and hang out with us while we record the show tweet us at awesome cast and please of course join the facebook group for awesome cast a lot of great stories in there throughout the week some in there that i don't know how much i want to talk about on the show but i'll just leave those for you and uh that we'll mention a couple and others like maybe less than awesome things i don't really want to talk about because i still want to kind of keep this a positive show for the most part here except for when you know chill is going to be really angry at his computer if it keeps um green screening on him over there but anyways other than that please also uh shout out to our friends carrying us um our friends at the rivers as are carrying us every nope that's the wrong read saturday mornings at 9 a.m eastern time and our friends at the 405 media.com weekdays at 9 a.m pacific noon eastern time and uh thank you to our patreon supporters at patreon.com slash wrestling um, no awesome cast what show is this uh patreon.com take two patreon.com slash awesome cast don't worry we'll fix it in post nice. our good friends at the coffee club five dollar level matt weller and john diggy de gore and at the fan of the show one dollar level michael fedor thank you so much to you guys for um supporting us here on the show on the awesome cast here uh <sighs> as well so let's get into the awesome Things of the week and give me a chance to breathe. John Chichilla, what is awesome this week? So mine is the Sphero. I'm guessing it's pronounced Rover. It's RVR. It's their new device that kind of looks like a miniaturized tank. Okay. So it has like four wheels with treads. 
um, instead of their typical Sphero ball type, like they made the BB-8 um, Sphero. They've made a couple of the like R2-D2 and a couple other ones. I, lo- I love playing with these things. Uh, Roush always has these at the uh, Formula Michigan event. Mm-hmm. Um, not Roush, Bosch. Bosch. Bosch, that's different. <laughs> so uh, their tents are very close to each other. Uh, but I mean, you know, it's like the BB-8s and stuff You're th- mm-hmm. you, when you think Sphero, right? Yeah, so the... Their devices are typically highly programmable. You can make them turn different colors. You can make them roll in different patterns. The BB-8 one, you can kind of draw out an obstacle course for it to navigate through. Um, there's a number of things you can do with the device. Is pretty all in all pretty cool. This device caught my interest because the top of it is actually has this kind of hard plastic with slots all over it that's pretty much meant to let you fit in like a, the Arduino boards, uh, Raspberry Pi, etc. They're also giving up the schematics for the device, Jeez. so you can three D print your own your own stuff. Okay, which I thought was a pretty cool concept. If you want to just take it to that next that next level, um, she was serious about coming. She in. was. I thought she was messing with me. Um, Jeez. So, so all in all, pretty cool device. It went up for pre-order today on Kickstarter. Um, so go! To, I didn't. I, I know the early bird special, and it was like limited to a hundred people. Was ninety nine bucks. I'm not a hundred percent sure what the retail on them is. I'm guessing two fifty, maybe three hundred. So yeah, it's like a, kind of like a tank device, and and has a Raspberry Pi in it. And I don't know, this guy's playing piano. I think they're going well, to something well, else. Well, what they're video. saying is, that, so they bought that company that does the color scanning mm-hmm. that they used for kind of like a musical keyboard. The device also has a color scanner in the bottom of it. So as it rolls over things, it can scan and grab color information and, and stuff like that. Oh, okay, that's awesome. So um, if people want to look it up, uh, what do they need to search out there? Sphero RVR. Sphero RVR. Go check that out. And there's a lot of stuff, and I think we're going to have a few things uh, this week in that vein um, because of the toy show. The big toy show was this week. Yes. So I know I, got, I saw a lot of cool action figure things in the uh, I saw people's. a lot of action figures. I saw a lot of Nerf stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Fortnite Nerf, yeah. Fortnite, Fortnite Nerf. Nerf. They, just, they came out with some new. I I think it's some new modulus, like the, their modular stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. They came out with so I'm excited for that stuff. Awesome. So, uh, well, I, so I guess since I I screwed up and apparently I I missed the message. Uh, me. I thought you I thought you said that you were going to make it a boy. You decided to make it a boys' night. Did and I read then that I message said, after that. Yeah, and then Chilla said I added the killer sex bot warning, and I said, "Fine, you've talked me into coming in. I'm leaving." <laughs> 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 I missed that. Okay, <laughs> that's all it takes. Oh, you know my buttons. <laughs> so I, <laughs> Ghost what, what, I, what I didn't add is Sorg said he won't talk about that news clip. Well, guess what? Now you gotta. <laughs> now we gotta. Now we gotta. I, I didn't think I'd be able to do it justice. So uh, now that we have you here, yeah. do you have an awesome thing in the in the in the can? To uh... no, <laughs> no. All right, I well... went to the library. I heard you briefly talking about that. Yes. <laughs> What did you say? I didn't hear everything. Oh, I would just say that I, I don't know what happened at the library because apparently <laughs> like every like Missy was just completely she was, blasted and couldn't dead. do the show. Like what 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 did you do at the library? We today? had a long day. Yeah. We had a long fun day. Yeah. That was I got my first first library card. Oh, you, for Carnegie. You've never had a library no, card. No. Mm-mm. Now you can join Hoopla. Yeah, dude, yes. sign up for Hoopla. I'm like there's so everything. Excited. Transformers movie is like always on there. Mm-hmm. So like if you don't have it available, I'm sure you have it on VHS, of course. I'm sure. But if you want to watch it on your phone. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just in case you're like, I don't have a VCR handy. I need to watch this thing. I was seriously eyeballing my DVD last night and almost threw it in when I was at home. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, so I have a library card now, so that's exciting. Yeah, that's we, good. We went down to the Oakland one, the big one, big boy, and uh, checked that bad boy out. That was a lot of fun. We liked it. Easy. Cool. Well, I like this. This is my friend. You, you like your plugs? <laughs> just look, like my the, plug roll look with at that. I'll <laughs> just like Mam Show sticker. Nice. <laughs> Advertise. I didn't expect somebody to be there. So I just here out of nowhere. I got a ladder <laughs> this, behind me here. This is what this. happens when we have no producer. Chilla just walked off for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what's going on back this there. Is the best show ever. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Oh, 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 I don't even have Krauss pointed out right. <laughs> He's the wrong color. I don't know what's going on here. The I sky got, is I falling. Got camera in the shot. Jeez. 
Please. He kind of looks a little yellowish from my version. He looks like yeah, a Simpson. No, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sick, I swear. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. It's, it's, <laughs> it's the blue shirt is like throwing the color balance off or I'm something. Sorry, I won't it's wear so the blue much shirt blue. Ever again. It's so on brand that we can't talk about for listvictory.com. <laughs> I wish Chilla would wear his flower shirt, so it could have just been, like, everything. Yeah, yeah, it'll just ruin every camera in here, right? Yeah. Krause, what is your awesome thing of the week? Well, my awesome, my awesome thing of the week is uh, this Friday, if, if you were a EA subscriber, you would have got it last Friday, but Anthem is coming out this week. And this is the this is not Apex Legend that everybody's going crazy no. for. Yeah, this is, um, this is a standard, you know, shooter. Looter shooter kind of game, MMO looter shooter game. Um, looter suit, shooter sounds basically weird. Iron Man. You know, you're Iron Man in a suit. Uh, looking forward to it. I played in the beta, both betas, and um, while it has had some issues, I am excited to see where the game goes. So you said if you if you're a subscriber, are you talking about like the EA Access? Yeah, if like, you were if you're is... on the EA Access, you got it a week you get ten hours on the Xbox and I think on PC it's already been released. Okay. So and this is like kind of the like like Game Pass kind of situation exactly. we got over on Xbox. Yeah. So but right. for EA. Okay. Games. So so what you said is this mostly like kind of Iron Man kind of uh um, Yeah. Uh, I think we talked about this briefly before. Multiple styles of suits, um, you know, sniper up close and personal, tank class kind of, you know, the, the various classes. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by Chili still just wandering around for some reason. What's going on over there? Well, the lap, the surface won't boot. It's just sitting at the white window logo. Okay. So I tried to figure out how to, I had to look up how, like, do you boot? A surface into like safe mode i love you're going into technical support like in the middle of the show now well, okay. well the funny so, so then i'm like forget it because i didn't have i have no show notes show notes oh <laughs> so then i went over and i'm like okay i'll plug that in so maybe by the time the show's over whatever happens it'll either catch itself on fire or <laughs> finally boot up so oh, i went and grabbed geez. my ipad and then i'm like oh i don't have the wi-fi password for here, so I'm gonna tether to my phone. Well, so we I have we have a pit mess. We have like a free pit mess yeah. here. Okay. <laughs> We're just out of control. All right. This is the best show this ever. Is, this is it's all it's just falling apart. I Anyways, watching so all. Anthem. Yes, so no, Anthem. she's passed out. So, yeah, I'm, but I'm looking forward to it. It comes out Friday, and we should also probably talk a little bit about Apex. Tremendous. If you have not Jeez. tried it yet, it's. Free. I wish I had some more time to play. It. And it's, <laughs> it's, just... it's very good, very good. Um, Fortnite ish game, so it's uh, it's hundred for, it's, players. It's, it's, it's Fortnite without the without the uh, building. I think the it's something bluff. around sixty players actually. Yeah, and I believe it's squad only. Yeah. All right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You have to play with other people. Mm -hmm. Um, but th the implementation of that game is very good. Yeah, yeah, they did a really good job with it. Uh, to the point where it sounds like things like Anthem are kind of like, hey, this one's free, and this is the pay one, and what do you want, right? Right. Yeah. So, I but hey, EA is going to throw a bunch of plays out there and see what works, mm -hmm. and if 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 Apex is the one that does on a freemium versus you know Anthem on 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 a pay model, you know, you never know. So. Yes. Um, so my awesome thing of the week is, um, this person does not exist. So Perfect. if you go to this person does not exist.com and I love, I, I mistakenly posted this in the wrestling mayhem show group and I didn't <laughs> realize it. And then I love our friend that, uh, his, uh, Billy Ruxpin, uh, his character is that he's an imaginary friend <laughs> and, and he, he responded that he may be on this website. Um, so you can literally go to this person does not exist dot com and uh, you'll get a you'll get an image. You'll get a picture. Fun fact, this is not a person. This is a computer generated picture, and this will it's AI. Um, you know, it, it, when they first started, like this didn't work very well. People didn't really look like people. They, they, they just fed in images and it's starting to figure it out and uh, and it just keeps going and it refreshes every you know few seconds by by the time you refresh. Most of the time, sometimes you'll get the same one, um, but it, it's a new image every time, and it's just continuing to do that. 
these are just like elements that it knows, but these, you know, constructed. I don't know what's going on in the background of this one exactly, but uh, I was say it's changing the backgrounds too, which is yeah. So it, it it's off, it looks like him. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like him. it looks like these who? people look like look real. I know these yeah. people. Yeah. You're like, wait, I think I know him. <laughs> well, yeah. I, the one I got is it's interesting because the background, the shadow, obviously doesn't match. No, the person. It's like it's a bad. It's like it's like a bad um like Apple portraits photo yeah. taken. Yeah, when it gets kind of weird, right? So I mean, it's it's pretty crazy um, with that. So I mean, this is a little bit of the like Skynet, you know, Skynet is coming kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it, so beyond that, it it, it was created. Um, this is using Nvidia technology to do it, and, and Nvidia has gotten like not you know they're really good at floating point math, and that's why their three D stuff so good. And so they have actually been kind of they kind of reworked their um, strategy to sell chips for ai what was wait wait what are you what are you looking at over i just got that one too did you wait till you see the next one wait what is that kid i don't know it looks like his mouth is bleeding he's about to bite a python he's floating (laughs) and he's like a floating head once in a while they don't work right because it's it's still imperfect right and 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 a lot of times it's really good no what is it wait what's Uh, is that a microphone yeah 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 i got different ones than you did oh Cause look at this this girl like oh no <laughs> wait wait what's she's going like, on there it's she like looks, the google wait, wait, put it on the camera blinking <laughs> she, she looks high she's wow. like i don't know what's going on yeah yeah that's it's it's a lot of fun uh and and again knowing that these are not like they're elements but they're they're kind of not really uh, uh actual pictures of people they're completely computer generated um it's it's kind of fun to to look at that but but like i said the uh you know nvidia has been doing the floating point thing and uh, selling chips for that, so it's kind of another kind of sample for them of um, you know what they're creating with something like this. So, and I think it was with no instruction too. I, I don't think there's no there's been no instruction. There's been no like yes, that's a face. Yet no, that's not a face. And this is what it's figured out so far. I would love to go back and see like early iterations and how it was doing and how it progressed. Right. So you're, you're give us a interesting looks over there. Are you getting some? Well, more? this guy kind of had sunglasses, but not. Like, they didn't figure out that that wasn't hair because it was black mm. and kind of blended into his... Ah, this guy doesn't have any arms. <laughs> this is amazing and horrifying. I like <laughs> Just like technology should be. Yeah. Uh, Katie, have you come up with an awesome thing uh, since we've given you a little bit of time? Oh, no, we're just going to no? talk we're just about going the library this? card. And I saw a dinosaur from the window. <laughs> and you see the dinosaur is at the party. I love... Uh, I was there for... Um, we, uh, we were there to, to talk social media or something. Um, for for one of their cla- courses, and uh, we took the elevator from the uh, a garage and got off. Like, there's nothing to stop you from going into the museum yeah. from the elevator from like, like the hey. back entrance. They're <laughs> so just like, oh hey, dinosaur bones. I was looking for a library, uh, so it's really cool that that's all kind of together over there. Well, in the meantime, what's, chest? what's, <laughs> what's Evan? It's like claw marks. <laughs> there's something happening in here. In here. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 what's happening with that one? Okay. You got an AI virus. You got a, you got yeah, this, I got a, something. Yeah. <laughs> wait, so oh, it looks like she's standing in front of somebody. Somebody who's been clawed at. <laughs> and they're like, "What's hair? What's feathers? What's what's?" And this is the background that's messed up. Yeah. So I mean, it, which is something that has to generate too. So it's probably just taking a bunch of different, you know, what like, you know, just a bunch of different odd backgrounds that I figured out aren't faces and just cramming them together, right? What's that one doing? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. What is what on is, her head? What is, she, is, is, I think it's a he, and it's wearing... Oh, there's like the Back to the Future I, silver blinders a, that yeah. the Doc uses when he drives? Oh, please tell me that's the one I can bring up right now. Nope, I'm too late. Oh. <laughs> that's amazing. I, can you screen cap that so it can become yes. our, our, our... Oh, our, it's too good, yeah. It's too... Yeah, it it's has to be it. It's too pretty. All right. In the meantime, we do want to give a shout out to our friend, Professor Buzzkill. Maybe, Katie, you should talk about this one. Uh, But uh, Professor Buzzkill, uh, those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it. Thankfully, Professor Buzzkill makes learning history entertaining. Go check him out at ProfessorBuzzkill.com. He's doing a lot of fun stuff. He um, got in the news. He had a very um, well-timed episode Talking about the effectiveness of walls. 
uh, and uh, actually got on uh, the uh, uh, P- Pittsburgh City Paper mm-hmm. uh, podcast as well, or live stream. I don't know. They refer to it as a podcast I over there. So. Um, yeah, Lynn, uh, Lynn Collins show. Lynn show. Uh, so good to see our good friend over there. History, Miss Busted. Go check him out. A friend of the network uh, over at Professor buzzkill.com support our friends out there in the podcasting world so i have one article that oh, was yeah that i shared from the wait, wait you know what no, no no i have a second thing i went before i get into this they do have a second thing brian crawford's in there our, our friend from uh river's edge uh, um i guess formerly river's edge now uh he 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 posted this this just dawned on him today that his iphone and ipad are worth more than his car yeah I, yeah it's kind of like like where we value things at this point right you know and she is still like walking around trying to fix his computer <laughs> just, <laughs> i'm glad we have so many people on the show today so she'll just like go for a stroll and <laughs> he's like the audience hey, and your, Brisbane. your surface is back but it's it's in like uefi mode like it's like oh the no. bios configuration ah, just throw links on there you'll be you'll be better for it um <laughs> but anyways I, we were talking about this uh Krause, a little bit beforehand like the you know that that kind of weird valuation that's happening Didn't it's you say, true like your I, backpack has more value yeah than? i think my backpack my work bag has more value in it than my current automobile so yeah, I, I well, I get that too because I, 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 you know, whenever you throw your laptop and your iPad in there, I'm like, you just add up in your in your head. It's like, oh, or, or when I pack up for a, a shoot, show, yeah, a show or a shoot, and I think about how much money is in the back of my car and how yeah. I don't want to sleep over in in Dayton overnight because I'm like, I have nowhere to put all this stuff, uh, you know, things like that. Yeah, you know, I don't want to just leave this in the car and the you know in the parking lot of the of the hotel, you know, or wherever I might end up. So it's it it's a it's interesting. It's an actual thing. Yeah, it can be. You you could you could lose like thousands of dollars of stuff if your backpack gets stolen. I I wouldn't know what to, if my backpack yeah. got stolen. I would just give up. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Put a fork in it, him. It's not even worth. <laughs> I try to think like what all can I just carry with me when I'm like out on on the travel shoots that we do too. So, anyways, so um, Kitty, I don't know if you've looked at this article. I cannot show anybody this article. No, uh, is, are cannot. we on the, the Sims? We are in the Sims. Yeah, I was. This is very impressive. I have not played. <laughs> I have not played Sims since it has it's gotten heavily this. modded Sims. By yeah. the way, it is heavily this modded. This doesn't happen out of the box. But very detailed. Like, I have not seen detail of The Sims like this in years. You know, since... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so basically, um, the title called, tar- title called the article on uh, Kotaku, 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 I believe it is. Kotaku, yeah. I know I've been scolded for saying this wrong in the past. Uh, I made a sex club in The Sims, and everyone got pregnant. And I started going through it, and <laughs> one, very graphic imagery. Mm-hmm. Um, like, okay, yeah, I understand it's modded to the point where, like, you know, you're, you're, they don't have the blur bubbles or anything when things are happening. But um, there's some very interesting, explicit things happening <laughs> in The Sims here. <laughs> and it, it was kind of interesting. But, yeah, I guess it was a bit of a social experiment that this person had did. I love the story. It's, it's, there's a whole story. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's amazing because, like, The Sims have different aspirations and things, you know, what they want to do. And, uh-huh. and it it really gets into like the, at the end, like talking about Riley, the character ending up with three kids and Riley had to stop having sex club hangouts after her first child walked in and, you know, as an actress. And then later when she gets older, she, you know, she, she spent her final few years of her life being unable to attend sex club meetings because one of her conditions that she set was quote, no old people. <laughs> her children are not famous enough to join, which means they're unable to change the conditions. So now sex club belongs to people outside of the family. <laughs> Like it's just this crazy story. I love it. So they, so they got they got put on the outs of their own sex club. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Uh, oh, okay. It's a, it's almost like autonomous. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's like living on without her. <laughs> just like, just like how I imagine this podcast will go. Um, so sort of. Um, <laughs> your autonomous chill is gone. Yeah. Wait, 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 I'm breathing. I'm, it's interesting because like. People in the discussion thread are like, adding mods like this really spices up the world. I honestly can't play real. I can't play Skyrim without them because it feels like something is missing when I take them out. Same for Fallout. Same for Sims Four. Who knew? Wait, what? What? Like, like, <laughs> like mods like this that they like have 
this. I this can be taken, and that's how I. I'm like, huh? But maybe. Wow. Maybe there's a whole underworld of mods. Oh, there definitely like is. I yeah. mean, there, there definitely is. I mean, all the way back, like I remember stumbling on like the like when the first Tomb Raider came out, there was always a nude patch or something back in the day, right? It makes for interesting stories, like sneaking into someone's house in White Run, only to hear them going at it in another room, or use a mod that lets you track pregnancies to find out that so and so has slept with everyone. <laughs> this is interesting. Okay. It's it's really like the conversation. Yeah, like I'm I'm down deep in the comments now too. Is like <laughs> essentially you can get as much gore and horrifying things into video games, but you like touch sex and it's like nope, nudity and sex that's not our thing. But you mm. can chop people into a million pe- pieces and it's just interesting. It's a very <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm here for the comments now. <laughs> Come for the she, sex club. Yeah, Stay for the comments. comments. Yes. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah okay over there <laughs> you're looking a little red but i think that's still the uh i think that's still our uh white balance uh, nice so okay. um jeez i need to write that down so thank you riz by the way we yeah. love to call it the riz and riz plays games for um exposing us to this ah damn it are you showing it i'm showing it. um no i'm not showing anything i'm trying to write this down since i don't have a producer tonight um Okay, so with that, I we have to put something else in here because I can't do that to our sponsors. Uh, so, Aww. so Chilla, what is going on with... Um, oh, wait, well, hey, now, you know what? Let's just put these side by side. Since Stutters isn't here, you had an article. Since Stutters is here? Since I'm a Stutters ghost. is here, here right? there's but an yeah. article here uh, from Newsweek robots. about so, sex so, robots. So, it was interesting. so there's actually like a security analyst. You gotta put the, uh, you gotta re- read Oh, sorry. Mind. There's there a go. security analyst that's warning people that between AI and sex robots, they could, the robots could start murdering people. Oh, And I like sh- pretty much targeting individuals with almost like a computer virus, depending on what different AI they may interact with, including... I'm really afraid to scroll this article. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Just stay towards the top. Ah. But it's it's interesting to think that people would actually try to break into like a real doll and try to then... Well, you got to think, that's like... Kill you, someone. That's like your most vulnerable time, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> To, to, catch, to catch somebody off guard, you know, um, there's a lot of trust in your in your sex robot. And, and I, like, it makes me wonder, like, what? <laughs> really? Like, are the developers, <laughs> like, what have, like, you always see those, like, murder, like, uh... Did you see Ex Machina? No. Okay. Okay. See, it's Ex Machina. I was thinking more like the, the whodunit, like, TV shows. Like the kind of murder mystery. Okay. Like the angry developer, like kills, wipes out half the population with these things. Ghost kind of. in what the machine. What happened to the Prime Directive or the what's the well, one so from there, Will Smith? There that are movie. the RoboCop one is RoboCop can't can't hurt anyone, can't hurt himself. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I forget what the it's iRobot. Like the You're talking about the iRobot. Yeah, robot. iRobot had one. Yeah, the it's, Prime the, yeah it's the yeah. Well, that, and that they, actually goes back to the old. Isaac Asimov. Yeah, right. Yeah. Asimov made, came up with it. Well, I, I, we we haven't reached that in sex robots yet. Is basically the thing. So. Okay. I like this one. Often these robots can be upwards of two hundred pounds and very strong. Oh, um. <laughs> <That's, laughs> just like <laughs> just crash on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> I love. Cr- I should just have a camera on Krause's expression during this. It's like, what did I get into oh, tonight? Yeah. Wow. What is this show anymore? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I want to point out this is a Newsweek article. This is yes, not like is. So this is not the video game thing. This is not something weird. This is Newsweek. Okay. So yeah, that's that's a thing that's happening. Um now I feel Wait, this is better to go in for the sponsors? Like uh, versus yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to figure. You know what? Sure. Our good friends. You know, when you're hungry and 
lifting a two hundred dollar sex robot. Uh, you <laughs> need to fuel up with our good friends at Slice on Broadway. SliceonBroadway.com, right up the street in uh, Beachview here on the tracks, as well as Carnegie, the East End, and PNC Park. Uh, <laughs> I really hope Missy listens back to this episode. Um, Go check them out. Support in Pittsburgh podcasting with a perfect pepperoni pizza for a good long time. Sliceonbroadway.com. Follow them on the PGH underscore slice on the Twitter. Uh, slice on Broadway on the Facebook and the Instagram as well. And let them know you heard about them on the awesome cast. Uh, yes, we give the, we give, we do give slice the best lead in stories, don't we? Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, this is exciting. And this is like the, oh man, I really need to get a switch. This is the thing that I think is finally putting me over the edge. And as soon as I find the money, I'm getting a switch in my hands. Cause I know with the Nintendo, um, online account, which I hope Shola, you finally gotten, right? I have not. Yet, oh, but neither but one you, of us have. Well, you know but what? Now I, I want to now what? because of. Like, to me, I don't think I need to buy a game when I pick one up, because not only do you get all those classic games, but you also will get Tetris 99, where you play... It's it's like the Fortnite of Tetris. It's the Battle Royale of it's Tetris. It's the Battle Royale of Tetris, right? And it, it's, it's crazy. It looks like you see the other uh, 99 players on your screen with you. Um, it's I mean, Tetris is what made the Game Boy. I still play that on the Game Boy every once in a while. And, uh, and, and, and it's, it's, come on, it's, it's Tetris guys. Like, I don't know about (laughs) picking up a $300 console to play Tetris, but to play it with like 98 (laughs) other people, that's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. And I really like how it's like when you make certain lines, it adds certain garbage to the other players. It just seems like a lot of fun. I'm just like randomly to like Mm -hmm. all the other players and you see like, all the uh, all the attacks like happening on the screen as you see flashes across all the all of them, right? Mm-hmm. That, that's that's really cool. That's a lot of fun. And 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 <laughs> from what I heard, I, you really find out how good of a Tetris player. Oh, I thought I was pretty good at this thing, and you just get slammed. <laughs> yeah. You know, I I know that from playing the uh, Doctor Mario tournament a couple years ago. I replay FX it was like, oh man, I am not okay at this game. Uh, you know, just like how much can I hang in here with these people? But uh, but it adds another aspect, and I I love that. You know, it's um, it, it's cool. Like I you know I remember playing the online Doctor Mario on the Wii uh, a few years ago, and that kind of got uh, pretty competitive. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um, but no, that's that's awesome. Uh, this so, is the one with the uh, dodgeball and stuff, right? That game pack, essentially the online games with Switch Super Dodgeball, yeah. Because that was that was the one when I was playing it. I was super excited because the glitches are still in there, even really? though you're not playing on the Nintendo anymore. The glitches are still there, where you get those little flashes across the screen. Mm-hmm. It's really funny because it's like, oh, I guess this is really in the game. <laughs> that's good. That's good. So so that means they 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 haven't like like fixed the CPU thing. Like mm-hmm. they 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 they. they they literally just ported the game over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but but like the the emulator says, hey, the CPU only goes this fast, and we don't modify that. Like, I mean, if you drop that on like an emulator like Raspberry Pi, typically you don't have that same slow slowdown, right? Mm-hmm. So no, but that's true to uh, the um, Nintendo Classic did the same thing, I think. Oh, did it? I believe oh, they, like awesome. it was true to it that it had even the slowdown and the glitches uh, kind of going on to it. So. Uh, but no, that's cool. Tetris 99, it's on Switch right now. Um, Chilla, what is going on with Google? Wait, so the incognito incognito? Yeah. What's, wait, so wait, can I, I go double incognito? You can go, yeah. Whoa. Google's going to let you go double incognito. So, and I didn't know this, and I've never run into it, but I thought the art, it was interesting to say, they're saying that if you use incognito mode, certain places will block you from visiting their site. Really? Because it can interfere with like free time on a paywall, things like that, because they won't be able to tell who's visiting, so they can't deploy a cookie or anything to to kind of keep you off of the free time and force you into the payroll, paywall kind of thing. Oh, okay. So, and I guess what they're doing is they're looking at a certain API that alludes to the fact that you're in incognito mode, so they they can then block you from using incognito mode because they won't then let you on their service at all. Okay. So Google is going to alter this where if you're incognito mode, it allows you access it into that API, but it's in like a sandboxed virtual machine type realm. Oh. So 
I just thought it was interesting that they're completely like making it where nobody can detect if you're incognito. So to me, they're incognitoing incognito. Huh. The real life application of this, other than the whole paywall scenario, which I've never run into, um, I couldn't really come up with a, a thought. But again, I've never. If you run into a problem with a site running incognito mode, your life should get a lot better going forward. I, I've never run into that. Like, what? Like, are we talking like New York, New York Times? It looks or like it's something? New York Times was the Boston Globe was listed. Okay. If my Surface would ever boot up, I could can't get to the article again. Oh no! Oh, oh. I feel like I should, I should lend you my iPad or something over here. <laughs> um, no, that's uh, it, it's kind of that security. I also saw there was something about um, um, Google said that ad blockers were taking up too many cycles, perhaps. And there's kind of a back and forth going on there, too. But, I mean, this is, you know, browsers. Mm-hmm. So, hey, so um, there was a toy show. I, I forget if we talked about it. On show or pre-show, I think we mentioned. I, I I don't know where the discussion was happening, but um, so there was a lot of cool, like say, action figures, like Instagram. I know I was seeing um, you know, stuff like you know, the Transformers Ecto One kind of uh, uh got my attention. But of course, there are a lot of tech stories coming out of there as well. Uh, first of all, Lego, had, uh, their newest playsets are according to them haunted by AR. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they have this like kind of haunted mansion um set that they're doing. It's uh, Lego's Hidden Side, right? And uh, you download the Lego Playground app, and uh, they will it'll add a little bit of an AR kind of uh, uh, extra features to the Lego set. This isn't the first time I've seen them play with AR, because uh, at the Lego store, you they have a setup, uh, this one over here in Ross Park Mall here in Pittsburgh, um, where you hold the box in front of the camera, and they will actually show you what the set looks like, like on the box, like in 3D. Oh, very on the cool. screen. So this is, I mean, well, like it's been kind of uh, dealing with technology for a good while now uh, with everything. So this is kind of the next uh, step of it too. To the point where I, uh, our friend uh, Rob, uh, cameraman Rob from Mayhem Show, um, uh, dropped me a couple, a couple of Lego t- Movie 2 sets that were like, they were giving out with like the 3D uh, showings or something. I had to go on, like the set would make three things. I had to go on the, on the website to find the instructions for the other two things oh okay so it was and it wasn't entirely easy to find it either so but um it, it, i love legos it's like ikea but more fun so check it out that's the uh lego hidden um hidden something where'd it, where'd it go <laughs> <laughs> it's so it. hidden it's so hidden i don't know where i put that uh no it's the uh lego hidden side if you want to check that out and it's uh coming out um, oh, and also the app is using AR Kit 2 to add the animation and uh, uh, to the existing sets as well. And it doesn't look for like, it's not looking for like the exact structure. Like you didn't have to make it perfectly, but it's looking for like key identifiers and general shapes, I guess. Oh, neat. To, to kind of identify them. So it'd be interesting to see how that, that works out. Also, Hot Wheels has a cool thing called tech mods. So, you know, you think Hot Wheels are like these little cars, like, you know, like what, like an inch long or something, right? Um, these ones are a lot bigger. There's these these, these big sets that um, the car can be. Com- the, the, you build the car up, right? And um, there's an app on your phone that it, it can pair to, and you can actually like steer like a car on these games by moving the car <laughs> like side to side, um, which is kind of weird. Uh, but uh, and, and like this feels a little bit like the the Lego uh, what we, Mindstorms, mm-hmm. like they're kind of crossing over into this a little bit, and you you build the like the cover and everything on this um, pretty easily, uh, and there, there's a little footage if you guys are with us of like you like air air moving this car to use it in a racing game on your phone, which seems kind of awkward, especially since it's kind of like a heavier. Uh, car from the looks of it uh so and of course you know it will drive around and stuff too i believe with your i feel like i can find that spot there and it's customizable um kind of a different and and there's um like kind of treasure hunt games that you can play where you're driving the car with your phone around like your floor or something so um you know kind of another cool thing like hot wheels kind of getting out of you know getting more tech as well uh with the uh, remote control cars 
two. So, uh, Chilla, we gotta pour one out for Blu rays. We are gonna pour one out for Blu rays. Well, and I'm interested. So, it's interesting. So, Samsung is no longer going to sell Blu ray players in the US. Now, my question is, is how many. How many companies are they actually creating Blu-ray players for in video game consoles? Like, who does Microsoft use a Samsung player in their Xbox? Con- That's like interesting. Who, yeah, well, who, what countries is Blu-ray still flourishing? Right. Yeah, and and I think it's still going to flourish in the video game market, just because you have the Nebraska effect. Um, what the Nebraska effect, where the, where the bandwidth is low in Nebraska and the Buffalo Rome. Um. <laughs> that's great <laughs> <laughs> so, so so i'm guessing like video game consoles are still going to have some kind of media in them for low bandwidth locations yeah um but yeah they're not they're no longer going to be selling the basic blu-ray player in the u.s which as we were talking before the show You've never bought a Blu-ray play, a standalone Blu-ray player. No, I have an Xbox One that I have bro- an Xbox One that has Blu-ray. I purchased within the last year. I have, I think, got. I've, I think, over time, I've had three Blu-ray players. Funny enough, all of them Samsung. One of them died, and we actually replaced it. And the, the one we rarely, rarely use, but the other one, it's like the, the smart tv version of a blu-ray player so it's not just a blu-ray player it has like the samsung tv apps on the blu-ray mm-hmm. so like you can watch netflix it's like a so like you a, can put it on a dumb tv you can put it on a dumb tv and make, and make it, it smart. smart yeah so, so 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 we use that on occasion so for not owning a blu-ray player you want to you want to guess about how many blu-rays i own <laughs> how many <laughs> blu-rays do you own? I, how many, I, I i'm eyeballing it in my brain because they're all together on a shelf together uh, I probably own, I would say about thirty Blu-rays. Wow! Just for the keys, just for the keys for just online. For the I watch them all online. The download code. Yeah. Yep, the download code, and I, I have rarely, if ever, maybe once. I think. Oh, I, I let I let Katie borrow a DVD from one of the sets one time. I mean, it wasn't the Scooby Doo WWE like yes. rate, Speed Race one or something. Yes. Yeah. So, and that's the thing, like half of them are like the Blu-ray DVD, or even better, some of them are Blu-ray 3D. Nice. So, at some point, I'm going to find that technology. <laughs> I have, I have and the try Blue, that. I have the goggles for my TV, if you ever Ooh. want to, or the glasses. Can I, I probably come? need new watch batteries for them, because they take watch batteries. You only have one thing of glasses, don't you? We have actually my TV came with two. Oh, can we come over? I'll bring yeah, my th- come with four. I'll bring my 3D um, Thor two um, disc and uh, <laughs> we'll just watch all the 3D movies because it, it was it's interesting. But the funny part is, I think the glasses, the battery power in them only lasts an hour and a half. Oh wow! Wait a minute! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute! <laughs> so we have to change this, batteries. This math doesn't mid-movie? work. Movie? Yeah, what? so you have to. You literally have to change the batteries. Here's a problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure that's why it never caught on. Oh yeah, that's the reason. Mm. Other than the splitting migraines, and they have it to never it never bothered me. And it was actually interesting because when we first got the TV, the Samsung, the the apps. There's a whole app catalog with like 3D concerts and all oh, kinds wow. of 3D content. So I actually sat there and like just watched a bunch of random type stuff in 3D because and it looked good. Like huh. it looked movie quality, like movie theater quality, good. <laughs> hey, well, that's you know, like we're we're talking about like three D, like you know, they're giving away Legos to go to the three D movie, and they didn't get rid of a lot of their Legos, <laughs> you know, like the incentive's not there, but they really want you to do it. Like, but I'll go to like the Dolby, you know, the Dolby Atmos crazy projector thing that they have at the AMC, but I won't go to that three D one right beside it at the on the IMAX mm-hmm. even, right? So. I, I know a lot of people that just it doesn't bother me. I don't I don't care personally. Mm-hmm. I'm not a huge 3D fan. Like I don't go out of my way. But I know a lot of people that re- just refuse to go to th- any movies in 3D. Like even even it's not even just a um like we saw Mortal Engines and I just thought it looked so cheesy. Yeah. Right. And there was another movie I saw. I, I like I saw the last Pirates of the Caribbean in 3D just because that was the one that was there. 
and it was so cheap because I was in like Kansas. It was like seven bucks for a 3D movie. I'm like, <laughs> why the why hell not? not? Yeah. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just like it just looks like Avatar was like, oh, this is what 3D can be, and then nobody did it. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, like nobody took it to that level, and they just like kind of slap it on. Wonder what when we saw like in 4D uh, in in uh, New York. And then it just poked you in the back, and that was a really bad experience. Like every time you got, every time there was like a punch, you had this this thing that like, like it, you got kicked in the back of the seat. Like, That's kind of annoying. It, it was yeah. really annoying. Trust me, there was like these air things that blew like by your ear every time like an arrow got shot. It was it was pretty rough. Like we went for Chachi's bachelor party weekend up in New York City, and we're just like, well, I guess we need to watch that movie again where we're not getting poked in the back, you know? So. <laughs> It's a very good movie. It's too. a very good it movie good when you're movie. not getting yeah. poked in the back, you know? I mean, you can simulate this with your kids at home, I guess. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> just sit on your kid while you're watching the movie. It's fine. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, with that, I don't know. Is there anything else we want to touch on that's in the rundown? Did I miss anything here? I di- I'm just adding it to the rundown right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Apple has acquired Pull String, Toy Tech, and essentially that's the company that makes Barbie talk. The really? Yeah. Yes. So now Apple will be entering the world of talking toys, um, which is interesting. Huh. So this is um, this is the voice tech mm-hmm. uh, technology. It's a startup pull string. It's not. We're not talking about the pull string like dolls from you know the eighties, right? So yeah, yeah. I think it's a play on that. But not yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's interesting. So and it, it was used in in Barbies and uh, Mattel toys, mm-hmm. and now. They're going to be using it as well. Yeah, because they're talking about how Apple Siri is like so far behind on Alexa and uh, Google Assistant, and not only like voice. Neck- I know I didn't wake anybody up. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, sorry. But this is kind of pulling Apple a little bit to the you know more into the living rooms, into the houses, and it doesn't look like they're concerned about it being hacked. But it was interesting that it mentioned it because I guess Pull String at one point did uh, get some flack in 2015 for being a child surveillance device. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think there was some privacy concerns yes. and something with their... I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That was, your Barbie is watching you mm-hmm. more creepily than you thought it was. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know. Like, I think anything is... Everything is watching you at this point. At this point, how many cameras are here? I was literally watching my wife see, sleep in the studio because I was just curious if she was back. And like, <laughs> This feels creepy, but at least I know she's okay. Uh, <laughs> so. you need like a ring you know like when you can interact it just like be a voice <laughs> Missy. well actually there is because it, it's the wise camps oh, that's right. and you can turn the voice on and i'm like i'm not gonna do that to her you know so yeah. but you know i could have easily messaged her or called her or pinged her on her on her find my iphone or something and no. i'm just like mm, no just let her sleep we the daughters wore out at the big day at the library. I did, we did. We had lunch at Eaton Park afterwards. <laughs> we had a big day. We had our meeting in the morning with at the coffee shop where we were just ridiculous as normal. And then we went to the library and ran around the library. And then we had lunch and then we brought her home. I've been, I've been Instagramming uh, me with coffee in different neighborhoods today. And I love that Doug was like, uh, oh, man, you're going to crash. And then Missy's going to draw stuff on your face. And I'm like, yeah, actually, <laughs> actually, that's not how that happened. <laughs> so I, can get, I didn't get back in time to draw stuff on her face. So I wouldn't do that. I love that. I, I drove up. These two were standing out front. I'm like, why aren't you inside? They're like, it's dark. I'm like, go knock on the window. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, no. no yeah, I'm not working <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, anyways, hey, one more uh, shout out before we get out of here this week. And that's to our friend Alexander Cars. He's doing a lot of good stuff. I think he's gearing up for some new projects lately, too. I think, I think he has some new technology coming, I think. Uh, lately that he's gearing up with uh but go check him out alexcars.media that's k-a-h-r-s dot media uh if you're uh, putting together the puzzle of design and media from branding to print to digital projects alex can do logos merchandise websites and even photo and video projects go check out alexcars.media for more information he does a lot of t-shirts and uh, designs websites um, and everything like that uh, go check it out. Done some great stuff with us and some of our friends here in the Pittsburgh area. And he's from the left coast. And uh, it, it, it's kind of awesome that uh, he's uh, participating in so much from across the country with us. Go check it out. Alex Cars. Media. 
All right. With that, hey, I want to shout out. We have coming up here. I don't have the producer, Missy, to tell me what we're doing next. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're doing actually, stuff and things. So next week, we're going to have Kit Mueller uh, here in the studio. And um, they have a uh, fun new startup. Um, start. Wait. I want to get the name right. Uh, a new um, pre-accelerator accelerator for startups called Startup Boost. Uh, that's happening uh, in the area here. Uh, we're going to find out more about that with him uh, here next week on the show. And, of course, uh, check out the other uh, great stuff, great things going on here uh, across the network. We're actually, we'll probably be live streaming over on Fishing Without Beat, uh, Bait. Uh, um, uh, Sheena Carroll will be joining us. Miss Matt Cross herself uh, will be a part of that. That will probably be around 7, 7.30 here in the studio. So look for the stream over there and over on the Sorgatron Media Places, uh, Pittsburgh Current also just announced their guest this week. I believe it's a local politician, if I recall. <laughs> so uh, I know I just posted it like while I was doing another stream today. So uh, Bethany Hallam, Democrat for Allegheny County Council at large. Uh, so uh, go check that out. That's at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Eastern time. Jeez, I'm doing the wrong promo. Uh, so go check that out and a lot of other great things streaming throughout the week. You never know what we'll end up doing. Hell, I don't even know what I'm doing this weekend at this point. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? We're here in Beachview. That's what we do know. So, uh, go check that out. And I know uh, things are gearing up for our friends over at the Millvale Music Festival. So go keep an eye on, uh, what's going on with them. They're doing second Saturday Millvale Music Series. So give a shout to them. I know we supported them here in the past, um, their first two years of the Millville Music Festival, and they're gearing up for the third year uh, over there. So, uh, Crazy Krause, anything to plug? No, I'm just happy to be here. Crazy Krause, just, you're just happy to be here representing List Victory. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> awesome. Crazy Krause on the Twitters with the Ks. That's it. John Chichilla is at Chilla on the Twitter. John Chichilla on the Facebooks, chillatech.net. And chill a photo on the Instagrams. Awesome. And K Dutters on the Twitters. Yep, K Dutters, Twitters, Kate Marie PGH on Instagram and something else on Facebook. Scare House Podcast came sure, out last yeah. week. Yeah, maybe I'll do a basement podcast this week. <gasps> Ooh, I know I have a throwback. Ooh. I gotta pull out the archives for this week. Really? Ooh. Yep. Excited. Awesome. Go 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 subscribe to the Scare House Podcast. Of course, all that's on the Sorgatron Media. Master feed. I know some people like Dave Potter have issues when we have um, I'm wondering which one's going to get them in trouble at work <laughs> sometimes. So now we have a little bit of everything there. A nice sampler. And we have officially, but not announced yet, a new member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. I think you guys are going to like this if you like music and Dungeons and Dragons. I'll leave it at that. Cool. Also, shout out to Thrifty. I was listening to Thrifty today and they had a lot of they had a fun show this week. Uh, thrifty podcast the, the entire stranger things like show is coming on the podcast what you said dungeons and dragons and 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 music, music? Yeah. just reminded me of stranger things no all right i'll give a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> i'll give a shout out to the bardic mystery tour i could say that they're cool, they're cool guys we, we talked with them yesterday um and it was a fun podcast go check them out too uh, check out everything awesomecast.com. Thank you, everybody who's dropped into the chat room and listening throughout the week. Let us know what you think about stories going on, and please uh, be in the Facebook group as well. Thank you, uh, everybody. Oh, Brandon wants us to, wants us to know that Rocket League went live for, for crossplay today. Okay. I'm gonna have to boot up my PC mm -hmm. version and see how many more people can kick my butt. <laughs> Thank you, everybody mm -hmm. in the chat room. Uh, you've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.